Hi there. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. My name is Elizabeth and I'm the designer and teacher at EBITDA Studio. And I like to make lots of things, but I primarily work in quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. And so if you're interested in those things, then be sure to check out my channel. This is just a quick little update of uh, what I've been working on. So I just finished this last weekend a quilt show and that was super fun and exciting. I was doing double duty because I'm with one of the guilds that was organizing the show and also I was a vendor at the show. So I had a lot to do for setup and organization and then I also uh, had to be there to run my booth at the show. So um, some people who follow me came by to meet me in person. That was so fun and exciting. I really love that when people come and say hi and say, I saw this video or I read your emails. Um, that's just so special to me that you're um, enjoying and getting value from what I do. I, I had one little run in with the quilt police and it was a woman who decided to tell me that none of the quilts at the show or most of the quilts at the show were not real quilts because real quilts are hand quilted and hand pieced and these were done by machines so they shouldn't actually count as quilts and I tried to remind her that this is a hobby and people that do hobbies can really do them however they want they're in charge she wasn't really buying that and as we continued to talk I found out that she's not actually a quilter but she's basing this on what her grandmother did or what she thought her grandmother did um, and so, anyways, hopefully she enjoyed the show and some of the things she saw, even if they weren't real quilts. I would be kind of curious to see if her grandmother was around today, what kind of things she'd be doing, because it might be something totally different. Um, I have huge respect for hand piecers and quilters. I do some of that, but certainly not all of my quilts are hand quilted. And I think that there's room in the quilting community for everybody. So other than that, it was a great show. Um, it was really fun. But now that that's behind me, I am so excited to announce something that I've been working on for the whole year. And some of my other updates, I've kind of alluded to it and shown sneaks of it. But starting in a couple weeks is going to be 2023 Christmas Stitch Along. And so what is a stitch along? A stitch along is um, a program where you will receive a pattern along with everybody else who signs up and um, we will stitch and be able to share pictures, interact online with what we were doing. So the 2023 Christmas stitch along is actually going to be a weekly program. It starts on October 16th and runs to December 18th. And during each one of those weeks, I'm actually going to release a new pattern each week and the pattern is going to be for a collection of Christmas ornaments and they're all going to be based on a different theme. So for example, the first week is going to be snowflakes and then um, one week is going to be Christmas trees and one week is going to be Christmas words. And so there's different themes for each set of ornaments. But if you join the stitch along and sign up for that, then that means each week you are going to get a pattern, an email digital pattern for one specific ornament. So in snowflake week, you will get one snowflake pattern. And then in Christmas tree week, you'll get one Christmas tree pattern. And so then these are going to be like little samplers of the bigger patterns. If you really like it and you choose to get the bigger pattern, then you will also have a discount code to be able to purchase the full pattern for anyone that you like. But if you just do the stitch long and you do make one pattern each week, then by Christmas, you will have 10 brand new um, handmade Christmas ornaments. And so I think it's going to be fun. This is a great, this is going to be a great way to either learn embroidery or practice embroidery. These are small projects, so you should be able to finish them within the week. Um, if it takes more than a week, that's not a problem because you're going to get these patterns. They will be yours for life um, and you can do them whenever you want. If you don't get any done this year, you can save them to do next year. Not a problem at all. 
but if you uh, do one each week, you'll have 10 by Christmas. And so um, if you're a beginner, this is a great uh, program for you because um, these are small projects, these are doable, and all the projects will come with links to video tutorials. So if you're not sure about some of the stitches or you're not sure about even what do I need for embroidery, what should I use for fabric thread, there's links to tutorials about that. If you're an experienced embroiderer and um, this is gonna be easy, then who doesn't like a quick and easy project that is fun to do and you can do it with a community of other people. So I think there's something for people of all different levels. So if you're interested in hand stitching and if you celebrate Christmas and decorate for Christmas, then this is a good, um, good program for you. Uh, so you can click the link below. I have information to join. Now the deadline to join is October 14th, 2023. So if you're watching this video after that, then you can still um, go to the other link below and see all the patterns. So you're welcome to get the full patterns. They will be available. Um, they will be releasing one week up until uh, Christmas. So you're still welcome to do that and you can still join the Facebook group and share pictures of what you're making. You just won't be able to get in on the uh, weekly sample patterns. So here's just a couple quick little samples of the patterns. And to be honest, I can't even remember if these are the samples that you'll get in the stitch along or if they are other samples from the pattern. So it'll be a surprise to you. So here's the snowflake one. And I've done this blue fabric and white thread, but of course when you're making it, you can customize this in whatever colors you like for Christmas. So if your tree is all decorated in pink or red or silver, whatever colors you like, you can customize that. And so that's the nice thing with making your own uh, ornaments. So here's a Christmas tree. And then here's a Christmas word. And so I also include um, different ideas for finishing the ornaments because there's all different things you can do to finish ornaments. So here's a little floral design. So I think there's a lot of great information that's included. Um, and then the price to join is $20 Canadian. So if you're American, it depends on the day, but it'll be less than $20. So uh, be sure to check that out if you like hand embroidery and you like Christmas. And I would love to have you join me in that. Um, I also, last thing to share is I have a new uh, quilt block mania uh, block. This is going to be coming out tomorrow. And the theme for October in quilt block mania is baby. So most of the people are going traditional, uh, like a rattle or like baby things. Um, because I'm doing traditional blocks, I went with baby nine patch blocks. So here's my, uh, my block pattern. So it's the uh, double nine patch block with the embroidered embellishment. So this is a free pattern during the month of October. So the link for that will also be below uh, starting October 3rd. So you can sign up for that. If you're seeing this after October, it'll be available for purchase in my shop, along with all my other um, hand and embroidery embellished traditional quilt blocks. So if you do one every month, then you'll have a whole um, collection to put together. I think this is turning out to be a beautiful project. I'm happy with how it's turning out. So be sure to check the information about those things and um, check back soon because I have a lot of other great things coming. So thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, be sure to pop them below and I will answer them um, in future videos. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.